friends welcome to this first lecture on the selenium web driver in this lecture you will learn what is a selenium web driver what is automation testing what are the various tools and why selenium is so popular and finally we will also see what are the selenium features of the selenium web driver so before we start with the selenium let me explain you what is web application testing so for any web application it is very important that there are no bugs in the web application and all the features and functionality works as expected so for example uh, here is uh, one website and in that website uh, you can register yourself and then search for the flights and book the flights or ticket uh, hotels you can also do the car rentals you can also book tickets for the cruises browse through destinations and vacations and all that stuff you can do so for example let us uh, say in the username you type anything like this and the password you type anything and if you just click on sign in it is taking you to this particular uh, page but actually this doesn't give the good picture to the user uh, actually it should sh show the validation message saying that this particular username doesn't exist or your password has been expired instead of just um, uh, just redirecting you to the different web page similarly if you do not uh, type your username or password there and click on submit it should also give the validation measure so there are as, as all such kind of small small issues should be you know, fixed before the web application or the you know, website goes live so it is very important to test the web application now manually testing the web application is not practical or say is very tedious and it is very cost costly as well because it's very uh, time consuming and that's why it needs more resources to uh, test the website for example consider that there are say 10 features and 10, 10 journeys in the web application and uh, to test one journey of the uh, web application it takes say 10 minutes then to test the 10 journeys it will take around 100 minutes so if uh, you want to like get your application live as soon as possible it is not possible to wait uh, for that much amount of time to just test the features so that is when the automation testing comes into picture automation testing will uh, take very less amount of time and you can also run the tests on multiple machines at the same time which can uh, reduce the deployment time of the application or the so application uh, time required to release the application will be very less as compared to the manual testing and that is why automation testing is very very important so instead of manually typing or manually testing the web application what you are going to do is that you are going to use the automation testing tool and now what are the different types of automation testing tools so automation testing tools uh, can be like EFT, Renorex, Test Complete, Selenium. So these are uh, some of the automation testing tools that can be used to automate the web application uh, web applications. Now, if there are say there are so many web application testing tools, why Selenium is so popular? So main difference between other tools like EFT, Renorex, Test Complete, and Selenium is that these tools are licensed tools and selenium is open source and that is the main feature of the selenium and another very important feature of the selenium is that you can write your tests in uh, various languages like java c sharp dot net python php etc so there are many languages in which you can write the tests now that is the main reason why selenium web driver is so popular let us move on to the next slide as I said, it is open source and cross-platform, so you can run your tests on Windows, as well as Mac, as well as Linux. Then, tests can be written in Java, C Sharp .NET, JavaScript, Python, PHP, and Groovy, and many other languages as well, in which the API is written, Selenium API is written. Now, it supports various browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari. So, unlike some web application testing tools, Selenium gives the flexibility that you can automate or run your tests on many browsers at the same time. So it's the same script, you have to write the same script, but it will work on all the browsers like Internet Explorer, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, etc. Then it also allows you to run your tests on emulated mobile devices or mobile screens. Like in the Chrome, they have provided one feature in which you can check how your website is gonna look like on the mobile device using a feature called as mobile emulation that is available in the chrome and 
here are some of the important links related to the selenium web driver if you want to go through them it is uh, it's your choice you can go ahead and check out these links so this github.com selenium hq selenium here is the uh, website or the source code of this selenium this project is hosted on the github and this site seleniumhq.org is the original uh, selenium website where you get a lot of information like uh, latest releases what are the conferences that are going on related to the selenium and lots of other stuff documentation etc you can get it from this website and finally we have got this link w3c.github.io web driver slash web driver spec dot html this link gives description about the web driver protocol which we are going to look at in the next lectures so this is very much about uh, the introduction to the selenium uh, and we have learned in this lecture like what is web application testing why it is important to test the applications and in that why man manual testing is not really feasible or practical in, in, at all times and what are the various automation testing tools alternatives available to the selenium and why selenium is getting popular day by day which browsers we can automate and using which languages we can write the test scripts and we have also looked at these important links where you can get lots of information about the selenium i hope you enjoyed the first lecture and i'm looking forward to you joining for the second lecture thanks for watching this video